Enigma Coin Collector here, and I'm back with another nickel hunt, and this box is going to be a special one because this nickel box is my last box from my current location in eastern Pennsylvania. A lot of you know that I'm currently moving, and this is the last box I'm going to be able to pick up and hunt before I move, so it's special to me. So we're going to be looking for Buffalo Nickels, Silver War Nickels, Key Dates, Semi-Key Dates, Overmint Marks, Forns, Errors and Varieties, O-Nines, you name it, we're going to be looking for it in this box. And uh, I hope that uh, this is kind of like a going away present from Eastern Pennsylvania, but if not, we're still going to have fun hunting it. I'm still going to post the video, and uh, this could be my last box from Eastern Pennsylvania, at least for a while. Maybe I'll come out and visit one day and pick up a box for old time's sake. So this is going to be special. I always like hunting these boxes with the holes in the bottom. Box code 6450. So let's just get into it. Love hunting nickels. It's one of my favorite denominations to hunt. And I'm hoping this one is no exception. Let's see what we got. Circulated nickels for sure. We've got an older one here. It's going to be in the 40s. 47 it looks like. Uh, no obvious war nickels or buffaloes in the top. You know what that means. It's time to crack these rolls open and see what we got inside. Bring it back for the first find. Roll number two is going to produce our first find. And this is a 1951. There you go. Out of Philly. Well, hopefully this is going to be a good sign because we're on roll two. We've got a 1951 kicking us off early, minted in Philadelphia. And that's going on the board. I just slid the third coin down in roll three and I see the date and I should have known it from the edge. Look at this edge. You're going to know what it is if you just look at the edge. <laughs> 1945 P. Silver War Nickel in the box. Boom! Whew! It is good to see silver that early on in the box. Hopefully that means we're going to have more finds. Silver War Nickel. Look at this tarnishing it's got on the side. Oh, that is exciting. We've got silver in the box. Roll three. Let's go. Roll number four is going to have a 1954. Our third find of the box. Second from the 50s. This is minted in Denver. Roll number six near the end. Our third 50s, 1958 from Philadelphia. Just cracked open roll number nine, and I have another suspicious edge. Thought I'd bring in and check together. And we're going to get our second silver dime of the box already. It's another P. 1942, three over two, no, double die, no, that is worn, but man, 1942P, yeah, that is worn, but a silver nickel, ha, <laughs> ha, Second one of the box. We will take that for sure. Same roll as that second silver war nickel. We're going to have our first 40s non-silver, 1940, out of Philadelphia. Roll number 13. We've got another 50s, 1959 from Denver. Roll number 15 is going to provide us with another 50s, and this one is a 1956 with decent detail minted in Denver. Roll number 16, and we've got a 1955. If this is a P, it is a semi-key date, and it's a Denver 55D common. Still, we will take it, add it to the fines. Roll number 18, staying true to the 50s. And we've got a 1951 again. Minute in Philadelphia. 
Roll number 21, and we've got our next find. 1956, minted in Denver. Just cracked open roll number 22, and we've got a few miscolored edges, but the one I'm intrigued about is this one because it looks like a silver war nickel. I thought I'd bring you in. Probably going to have to... to no, I am not. We just found our third silver war nickel of the box. Holy cow. There's another P. What year is it going to be? 1943. P. Wow. No three over two. And the double die is going to be hard to tell on that war of a coin. But that is our third third silver war nickel of this box which is just crazy that might be my best box in terms of silver i'll have to check but we're not even halfway through the box yet we got three silver war nickels that is awesome roll number 24 and we did find a 2009 and this is going to be a p a few rolls back but this roll has a 1946 minted from Philadelphia. Not silver, but we've been pretty lucky so far with that. We'll see if that will continue in the second half of the box. Roll 26, second coin in, 1940, 1940 on the dot from Philadelphia. We'll add it right there. Roll number 27 is going to have a few finds. Back-to-back -back finds right here, coins that were touching each other when I unveiled them. I didn't realize it, but we've got a 1948 Philadelphia. And then right behind it is a 1954 Denver. And then as I was looking down the row, spot this 1946 from Philly. So three finds in this roll. Bring it back if there's anything else, but that's a good roll. Roll 29, we've got our next find in a 1953 minted in Denver. Roll number 34, and we've got our second 1948 out of Philly for the box. Next roll, roll number 35, we've got another 1946, 56, I'm sorry, minted in Denver. Just open roll number 36, and I see a 1939 peeking up at me. If we get a mint mark, this is a key date. Here we go. Just a common Philadelphia. Let's check for the doubling. And I don't see it. No mint mark. Still cool to get a 30s nickel in the box. Too bad it's not anything other than a 1939P regular. But we'll take it. Roll 40 is going to have another 1939. And I already looked at the other side because it was uh, facing the other direction. So we got a 1939 really worn out of Philly. Don't know if we're going to see anything. Yeah, you could just see how obliterated that is. No mint mark, so another 1939p to add. Just not one of the ones that we want, but we'll take it. Same roll. 1956 out of Denver. Roll number 43 is going to have our next find, and this one is a 1954 minted in Denver. Roll 45 is going to have at least two finds just flipped over this 1957. You can tell by the condition. They just have that look from Denver. And then I see 1946 peeking out at me. 1946 from Philadelphia. Same roll. We've got another find. A 1957. There you go. <laughs> out of Denver again. Or Philadelphia. Sorry. Philadelphia. Roll number 46. We've got a 46 again. How many times does the roll equal the year? More often than not, actually, but got a 46 Philadelphia to add to the collection. Roll number 48, and the box is not done. It's this one. 
And this is a 1951 in decent shape from Philadelphia. Roll 49. We've got another 1955. Going to be a 55P for that semi key. Nope. Another Denver. Sorry, right. We'll take it anyway. Same roll. Another 1946. Ooh, let me get that in focus. There you go. 46, Philadelphia. Well, the box is hunted, and you know what? That was a really, really good box. I mean, you can't get mad anytime you find three silver war nickels in one box. Overall, the box did really, really well. And you can see we got those three silver war nickels right there. Two 09s. We've got two from the 30s. Not a key date. No uh, doubling on them, but still cool finds. 10 from the 40s. 17 from the 50s for a grand total of 56 points. Man, those boxes are running pretty true and even. Star finds are going to be these three silver war nickels. That is just awesome to find three silvers in one box. Here are the rest of the finds. There are those 239s, the 40, and the rest. I'll pan over them real quick. I did check for all the doubling, the DDOs, uh, nothing doing there, all the uh, over mint marks, nothing really going on except for those three silvers. Happy to have them. Happy to have all of them, really. It was a really fun hunt, hunting my last box of nickels out here in eastern Pennsylvania. Well, I hope you really enjoyed the video, and if you did, I appreciate a thumbs up. Leave a comment below if you've got something to say. And remember, it's always a mystery until you crack open those rolls and find out what's inside. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I appreciate all the views. Thank you very, very much. Hopefully we'll be back to hunting nickels soon. Take care, everyone. See you later.